Hey guys, this is Rob the Voluntarist Rebel here today, and I want to read from the preamble of the Constitution. Bear with me. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, all right, you lost me at we. You lost me at we. I never signed a contract. I wasn't there. I wasn't even alive then. And you don't... The Constitution, it was signed back in September of 1787. Take a wild guess at how many of those delegates actually signed this document. 39. Now, interesting little fact. Three years later, they actually the first census that was completed. Do you know that there was 3.9 million people that lived in the United States when this document was created? 3.9 million. 39 signers. 3.9 million. Now, there are also 700,000 slaves. Of course, they didn't view those as people. Well, I take that back. They viewed them as three-fifths of a person. That's a whole other episode and a half right there, in my opinion. Um, and, of course, they don't even count, like, the 150-some thousand estimated Native Americans that lived in that area because they're considered worse than slaves in the minds of the people that wrote the Constitution. Now, what powers did these 39 individuals give themselves over 4 million people? First and foremost, to lay and collect tax they decided that they wanted to legalize uh, themselves the ability to steal from you at the point of a barrel of a gun. Second off, borrow money on the credit of the U.S. Anyone heard of debt? I mean, there's a reason why your grandkids and your great-great-great-grandkids are going to be paying for what your grandparents did. Because we're in debt. And the reason why we're in debt is because the Constitution gives this country the ability to go into debt. To regulate commerce. Now correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong in some of these videos because I'm learning along the way I'm going down this journey. But nonetheless, correct me if I'm wrong. But the people that are alive at this time were alive during the Revolution. And that war... You know, of secession from Great Britain was over being told what to do in a nutshell. Give me liberty or give me death. You know, they didn't want to have their lives regulated. You know, Boston Tea Party, anybody. Why would we throw that in the Constitution to regulate commerce? I love this one. To coin, and regu to coin money and to regulate the value of. They don't want the ability to have the free market determine what currency is best and to have competing currencies and let the market decide the value of said currencies. No, 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 no. We're on this farm and you got to use their, their money because they're the masters. They said so themselves, all 39 people that signed the Constitution, that they get to dictate what currency we use. Yeah. And this one's a lot of a side tangent. Also, post office. They just want to create a monopoly. Why not? Let's just create one monopoly that we can rule over easily. Now, here's my favorite. Of all the powers, and there's a lot of other powers on there, but out of all the powers that these 39 individuals decided to give themselves was the right to declare war. Not only are they still to give them themselves the ability to steal from you at the point of a gun, but they're going to take those funds, build an army, and then go on the other side of this planet to kill people that you have never met. Think about that for a second. 39 people that lived over 200 years ago decided for me and you, that they can not only steal our money, but use that 
to declare war on someone else on the other side of the planet. Now, also, you can make the argument that we don't declare war. But that's a whole other constitutional argument for another day as well. But at the end of the day, besides the fact that I don't even consent to being governed by anybody, I don't consent the fact that 39 people over 200 years ago dictate what I live under today. Now, you can make the argument that I was a contract for those people that lived at that time because it went through the state houses and they all voted on it. So, you guess you can say it's a couple hundred, not 39. But nonetheless, if you, if you even wanted to go that far, then okay, that was a contract for the people that lived then. I never signed that contract. I didn't even live under that. My parents didn't live under that. My grandparents didn't live under that. I mean, when you go into debt or you, your actions or whatever you do in your life, your children are not responsible for what you do. Your grandchildren are not responsible for what you do. Your great-great-great-grandchildren are not responsible for what you do. So why are we responsible? Why, do, why are we governed under something that 39 people wrote over 200 years ago? Like I said, you lost me at we. Anyways... That's my episode for today. You can catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Twitter is at Voluntary Rebel. All the links are down below. Please like, share, subscribe, and peace, love, liberty.